okay good evening and we are very close to getting to good night actually it's 9 30 plus and i'm recording this i was totally busy throughout the day and was engaged in doing my own studies but as god has given me this work this seva or the service or holy service to do i need to be on my feet to get it done as soon as possible so here i am there with you again with your today's blessing the 266th day of our blessing and a very important one which you might realize and it might touch your heart too so let's get ahead with this blessing what does baba have to say in today's blessing <music> says may you become seated on Bab Dada's heart throne now what can be a heart throne heart throne means somebody who's seated on your heart or is in your feelings or you love that person a lot so how do we sit on the heart throne of Bab Dada Bab means God the father and Dada means Adam or Brahma the first creation of God who is the closest to God how do we come into the eyes of the first creation of God how do we come into the eyes of God the father what do we need to change in ourselves so as to be somebody as a soul not the whole physical body but as a soul who is recognized by god in his own heart throne so we'll explore that by constantly being seated on the heart throne on a constant stage what is that constant stage let's explore that the most elevated throne is to be seated on bab Tata's heart throne we might think that this person needs to love me i need to win over this person's heart or I need to be somebody who's loved by everybody around me or the world needs to know my name or I need to be somebody who's recognized by everybody else and we think that we need to do all this to make other people happier make other people recognize us and we spend our whole life doing that and we might sometimes manipulate not sometimes majority of the times manipulate things to get into the heart of other people or come into the limelight of other people but God says if you're using those techniques and tactics of Kali Yuga or the impure qualities then you might come into the heart throne of other people but not in my heart throne what is more important that you have to decide yourself at the end of the day when you're leaving your body other people will recognize you for your karmas for sure but were they pure or were they manipulated that will decide whether you're going to live longer in the heart or not and especially in the heart throne of or on the heart throne of god the father so then let's get ahead Ahead, Baba says, however, in order to sit on this heart throne, you need to have the throne of an unshakable, immovable and constant stage. What does that mean? Somebody comes and insults you. Somebody comes and says something very inappropriate to you. What do you do that? You generally say, I'll let me reply back to this person. Let me put him in his own place. You might do that and other people might say, yes, you did right. You should have said something more. You should have put that person in his own place. You might win over at that time. But in the eyes of God, have you won? No. You might be victorious or might people might just applaud you for what you have done. You've just attained a victory over here and you have become famous or something like that. But in the eyes of God, you use not the virtues but the vices. Whether you were shouting, whether you were getting angry, whether you were putting the other person down, you were showing that person his place by showing that person's weaknesses. Whatsoever you're doing, you were getting famous in other people's eyes around you who think alike but in God's eyes no think about it again so we think about long term right even during doing any investment also we think long term while constructing your own house also you think long term but why not in this why not in these aspects why do we let go of that virtue so then God says unshakable immovable and constant stage that can only happen if you use virtues of patience and tolerance and acceptance and love and universal love for everybody then only we can accept and tolerate and be in the heart throne of god the father other people might shout back at you why didn't you reply back why didn't you say it why did you accept that why did you take that insult but in god's eyes you are powerful you are pure that's why if you see in christianity also it's mentioned at the end of the days, the meek and the weak shall rule the world. Which world? The golden age, which is going to come. So the meek and the weak don't reply back. They don't fight back in the in the inappropriate, inappropriate manner or, or the wrong manner. They don't manipulate things. They don't go to the extremes of manipulating things around them so that they become famous or they can come into the limelight. They don't use force or violence to get things done. But 
they are those who are not recognized by people generally but they are somebody who are in peace and in connection with the supreme being the supreme god father for a very very long time till the end of the days so then god says if you are not able to be stable on throne of the stage you cannot be stable on the throne of bab dada's heart for this be an immortal image and sit on the throne in the center of a forehead this is the immortal image this is the place or this is the throne where i the soul sit i have to be soul conscious so as to see the whole world with my third eye of intelligence or the knowledge which god has given it. what is that intelligence that i am a soul i am not this physical body i am neither a male nor a female so there is no difference between love and happiness and bliss and power between a male and a female so everybody is equal we don't need to fight for women empowerment or fight for man empowerment or fight for anything else because we are all equal in the eyes of god we are souls if i am a spirit god is the supreme spirit then i am equal to you and you are equal to me whether you are a woman uh, you are a soul in a woman's body or you are a soul in a man's body listening to this we are all equal and whether it's any culture whether it's any religion whether it's any other ethnicity or any food habits or anything there's no difference between you and me we are all equal because we are all looking for the same peace the same love the same happiness the same bliss and all of them have have the same feelings whether you are black or white whether you are hindu or muslim or sikh or isai or you from any ethnicity it all feels the same who's feeling it not the dark skin not the white skin not the tall person not the fat person but the soul which you are feels love the way i feel love peace peace the way that i feel peace so that is commonality so when i'm soul conscious and i am not body conscious that's when i am sitting on the heart throne of god nobody can shake me nobody can make me fearful of death because i am a soul i never die i am immortal because i'm the son of the supreme immortal soul so how can you die if you call him the of god the father you never die you only leave one physical body and get into the other one so god says do not do not constantly shake on this throne sometimes you are soul conscious sometimes you are body conscious sometimes you are soul conscious sometimes you are body conscious no not like that now what is this soul conscious what is this body conscious knowledge you can learn it at brahma kumaris let's go ahead do not constantly shake on this throne and you will then be able to sit on bab dada's heart throne because god is never body conscious he doesn't have a body he is always soul conscious he's got all pure feelings towards every soul on this earth we need to inculcate that same power how do we do that for that we need that knowledge which we learn at brahma kumaris about the times which we have come across about the change of the time and what is going to come ahead in the future when we know that knowledge we change for that coming future right now what is that change which is required we learn at brahma kumaris and i welcome you for learning that knowledge have a blessed day not the day actually have a blessed good night and a peaceful good night and may you read this message before you sleep om shanti mm-hmm.